because it's pineapple on pizza. And I love pineapple on my pizza. You can clip it if you like. I don't care what anyone says, I love pineapple. <laughs> I'm being your sacrifice. All right, we're back. I uh, I do apologize. Uh, my power went out for a brief uh, few moments. So things might be a little wonky. Welcome back, Jess. Welcome back. Welcome back. Power went out for a brief moment, but we are back. Go to beast class. Perfect. Now let's make an official save. Ow. Uh, let's check these out really quick. Oh, okay. I was going to end it as soon as we finished uh, the beast class, but then my power went out. I'll probably do an extra one or two hours.
Well, it's not that far, but we'll fly there. Since we are in school... Oh, what's this? Oh, that looks cool. I think we'll go with that one. Whew. I gotta go to the room of requirement after this. everyone i see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class though be advised none of these creatures should be taken lightly they are all in their own way dangerous especially if one does not know how to handle them properly now it seems many of you are out of practice let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast shall we miss sweeting would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfect. Aww. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Who knows? I, like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He <laughs> seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honeyjeeks. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. Just 
Titus Peculiar Poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Poofy kitty cats. <laughs> Her knees was really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Here. Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Yes. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? I enjoyed it. Wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Hey, over here. Come on. Who? Oh, what's up, Poppy? Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Should I be worried? Nah, sounds intriguing. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. <laughs> Thank you for head pets. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Mm? Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. What is it? Isn't 
she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like I come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody by far one of the best things ever did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Mm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've mm. seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on, what they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power, and the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Was a lot of chitty chat, but that's okay. Um, gonna have to replace those. All right, let's see what I can do here. Hmm. I already have that one. I might do it. For now. <sighs> okay. Uh, quests.
Find out what Gladwin Moon wants. The Pulsar. Oh, a broom enhancement. Okay. Let's do that. Young friend. Hmm. I know we gotta go there, but I want to check this store really quick. Oh, shoot. You gotta be careful. Oh my goodness! There we go. Keep the purple ones, get rid of these. Alright, what new stuff does he have? I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rag to promise. The good thing You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rag to promise. Is you buy it, unlock the style, and sell it. Oh, my slots are full. Okay. Ooh, 58. I'm gonna have to check that. 60, that's down, but that's okay. Sometimes I forget which ones I already have. Oh, that's pretty good. So 
sell those, sell that. Fifty, forty-three. Oh yeah, I got these, so I don't need these. That's all the new stuff he had. You have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Forty one fifty. Fifty eight, fifty eight. All right, so I guess, eh, you know, I don't. Fifty three, forty two. All right, so we're good there. Hmm. Broom upgrades. I got no broom upgrades. One handles. Out. That one's not too bad. I always keep this one, though. Maybe I'll give that one a shot. And now we'll save it. Let's go buy us a broom upgrade. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. Ooh, let's buy these. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Yeah, I'll consider it. What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them expressed reticence at the idea of racing against her at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. 
I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Off to the races, then. Might as well. I mean, we are here. Hello there. Nice to see you. Let's pick this up. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself, I'm Clementine, Willetsy, charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old. It sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgott. Hi, fairy! He's a friend. How are you today? Also, how's your week been? It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me <laughs> instantly. Which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him. About Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. <sighs> also, I hope you enjoy your stay here, fairy. Um... 
Went to go do stuff and back to see. Yes, my power went out. So I'm coming back for like an extra hour or two and then I'll be off so that way I can continue with my rest on getting better. <laughs> I really want to be at 100% for you guys. Also, for those that don't know, I am working on stickers and t-shirts. Yes. It funny thing about how the power went out. It's it felt like someone like messed with the switch. You know how like you turn off a light and then turn it back on again? Yeah, that's how it felt like. It's just like what the heck? <laughs> Me and everyone in the house were so confused. But the fact that it happened as I was streaming, I was just, I was flabbergasted and a little sad. I was like, really? In the middle of my stream? <laughs> yeah, just a small surge. Took a while to get things up and running because my PC is old as hell and slow. <laughs> the power switch is Velcro. <laughs> mm. Oh boy. Uh, also, Fairy, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. Uh, but yes, enjoy your stay here, and I hope you enjoy my streams and. Everyone that stops by, you I'm sure you know everybody. <laughs> but I also hope you're not working too hard. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. This will be the last thing I say about the merch. I have been very hesitant to say this part because I'm not one to ask for anything whatsoever. As everything is, of course, out of pocket. Contribution is all up to you guys. You are not obligated. It is only if you want to. But any and all contribution is much appreciated. Not obligated, but much appreciated. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough. But between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. And that said, I feel they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they're plotting. <laughs> Dang, Twitch be greedy. At least from what I've seen on Twitter, like e everyone on Twitter is just has just been posting how greedy Twitch has been getting. 
And I'm just like, jeez. I don't really like to say anything on Twitter. I just post when I'm live or I retweet, you know, like really positive things or things that I'm interested in, like Sanrio, which is like Hello Kitty. Thank you, Serena. If you find Lord Gok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies. But please, watch your back. Yeah, I'm just going to say this. Serona is top tier a G. She awesome. <laughs> I have Twitter, Insta, um, this, Twitch, YouTube. Um, I also have a, I think I have a Patreon too. I just, I forgot about it. <laughs> I think I was in the process of setting that up. How in the heck? Uh, I gotta go in. it is. Mm. And I'll say this, just so is here. Any and all contributions will go straight to the merch, the stream, mostly the merch because of shipping and the bulk orders to get bring them to you guys. Hello, Lord Gok. Serona said I might find you here. Yes, she did, did oh, I don't do the Snapchat. I never you? liked it. No, actually, I have Facebook. I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember the three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am, and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, mm. a falling out a while back. Mm. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. <laughs> go out and enjoy the weekend. <laughs> well, Fairy, I hope you don't work too hard. I think I 
Me oh near the witch's tomb. Okay. Gotcha. I gotta go around. Can I go this way? No, I can. <laughs> Speaking of Dakimakura, that's the next thing. But those are a little more costly than t-shirts and stickers. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? So the that's another the thing on the list. The helmet of Earth God. The witch considered herself a collector. And Thank you. As a trinket. She came Have a wonderful weekend too, fairy. Thanks for stopping by. The owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences <laughs> between our kinds are myriad. You're amazing, fairy. Love ya. I you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Oh my gosh, how could I forget to do this? Um. I hope I'm doing this right. Once again, I got a f uh, so much. Yes, go check them out. They're awesome. Is that a Merlin trial up ahead? I think so. Oh, it's the one where I gotta use Lumos. That should be fun. Are the butterflies? I know they're around. Oh, look, there's some over there. Now we need one more. Can they be? I 
I hear them. I think. Maybe that's just those over there. This is interesting. Yeah, I don't want to fall. Up. Interesting. Where can these ones be? I feel like I'm really missing them. Unless it's th this. Lumos. I think it was that. What? I could have. I could have sworn I heard them. But there's no way they'd be this far out. You're right, I should use that. Could that be them over there? Oh my gosh. Let's continue on our way. Why do we gotta walk all the way there? I can't, we just run. And there it is, the witch's tomb. Oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? <laughs> I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Ooh, questions. What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Earthcot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. 
It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Hmm. Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now. We that got this, guys. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please be careful. We got this. Foul creatures thrive on the darkness and cold. I feel it. <laughs> That's funny. Wait a minute, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay. Lumos. Open sesame. Helen's beard. Chest. Rebellia. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Okay. The hecky? If I remember, I don't think that was open when I came in. Rebellion. But okay. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I'm not alone here. 
Of course. Oh, I hate these things. Uh, shoot. Shit, I need more fire. I need more fire. Oh my goodness! It's okay, we got this. Jesus. Thank you for head pads. Uh, Jess, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, is this another deposal? Nice. Hiya. What's next? This way. <laughs> Butterflies. Lumos. Interesting. Pavelio. Lumos. Where would the other one be? No. I feel like I hear it. Lumos. Interesting. I feel like I hear it. Not too sure, though. I wonder. No. Quite the puzzle. Unless... I wonder. Oh! Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. We go. Lumos. We 
てるNow I guess I'll bring it with me. of a fan of puzzles either. Okay, but then what's on the other side? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, incendio. Yeah, we'll do that one. Ah, I can't go to the map. Okay. Damn it! Incendio. 
Oh, that was cool. Which one first? Which one first? Oh! Okay, you know what? we go. Anything else? Rebellion. Oh, we got some chesty chests over here. Oh, well. Those are on the other side. Lumos. What's this? Interesting. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Oh, wrong thing. even more complex there's one there's two okay I see Gotta see what's over here. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. The dead Ashwinder. The compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok Darn it. Like this. to show this to Lodgok. Well then. Rebellion. Stole them. Wait, what? Oh, okay. 
I just gotta go back out now. Alright, hold on, let's see, let me see. Ah, oh, okay. There mm. must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Oh, cool. Lovecock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. Now, I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Hmm. So it's always good to unlock, uh... These rocks have seen better days. That's weird. This isn't... That's what that is. Okay, I thought it was a teleport. Oh, that's creepy. No, no, no. Oh, I kill him. There they are. The Ashwinders. A troll. You're going to regret oh, that. boy. So. And we got this. You've made a great. Yeah. Yeah. That about did I'll check your pockets up here. Hey! I'll have taken your life before you even realize it's gone. Anyone else? Where are you? Perfect! Would have loved to pick up that fish, but we I don't think we can use fish. Rebellion. 
There's... This is for Rookwood! Uh. Another pitiful beast caught in my trap. Ooh, purple. Oh, no one to share in my victory. Did my character just say what I think she said? And no one to share in my victory. Like, really? <laughs> you. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? We I did retrieved it. the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, oh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Cool. I got to save. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, I'm going to get some rest. I am pretty spent. <laughs> I want to thank each and every one of you that came and lurked and Cause I love you, you crazy <laughs> Love you too, ninjas. I appreciate every single one of you that stopped by. And especially those that I know personally that stopped by to check in and even uh, hang around for a bit. Your support means the world to me. And you just, I'm grateful. I know I say it every stream, but it's because I really am grateful to every single one of you. I am praying everything goes well at the appointment. Uh, I think it's next week that I have my appointment. So, 
Let's hope for good results. Because I am praying so hard for good results. I'll do my best to try to get these stickers and t-shirts out. Um, I just, like I said, I have to come up with a design. Uh, once I figure out the art style, I'll post um, the styles. And I'll let you guys pick out what you guys like the most, so on and so forth. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm Nymphadora. Feel free to call me Nymphy. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Besitos para todo. Kisses for all. I love you guys.